Hello, my name is James Bamford and today I want to talk about something quite relevant to me and relevant to quite a lot of you out there actually and that's boys in boys and males in dance. Um, it's a, it's a bit of a grey area and not many people talk about it because I think it's it sometimes it can be considered quite a sensitive sensitive subject but boys in dance is a massive thing now and it's hugely relevant and it's never been so big. Um, and I think it'd be really cool to discuss with you, such a supportive audience. Bullying is quite, it's quite a big thing. Um, you think that you would only get that come like secondary school? Um, when kids actually have an opinion about stuff. But actually, I think it's influenced from quite a young age that like, you know, primary school, I got it a bit in primary school and I, I've talked to a lot of young, young male dancers and, and they say they get it too and they're only in primary school. And that's, for me, I find that really, really quite sad. Um, I think though, because of that, I don't think it ever really stops. Once you get to um, a certain age, I think people kind of respect that you're taking it seriously and that's what you want. And I think, Especially if you can enter the school talent show, bust out a musical number, and have a tap solo halfway through. No one's gonna say you're not cool. Definitely, it makes male dancers that go through it all come out ten times stronger than than they ever could imagine to be because they're only doing it because they love it. And if they didn't love it, they wouldn't have put themselves through everything they've had to go through to get to where they are. For musical theatre, um. A lot of people don't realise, but ballet is such an essential part of being a great either ensemble member or a key, like a principal role which requires a lot of dance. And really, it teaches you discipline, even if you don't want to go into ballet or dance in general. But if you want to go into musical theatre, being able to dance means you can do break, like hip hop, street, commercial, jazz everything. Ballet is essential and also it teaches a male the core strength for like pas de deux which is like duet work and it's it's really cool it's really cool once you get you know and if you've got something to show for it if you take grade and exams in it then then that's awesome. It's not a bigger time that boys are being encouraged to dance. The RAD have released their Project B which is all about investing in boys dancing and there's so much support out there people are releasing new lines of clothing uh boys clothing for males. At the moment Clothing for males in dance is it's is relatively restricted, but I, I but I've got massive respect for people that are trying to change that, and I think that it's such a massive thing that we can't just ignore it. And like you know, I think boys in dance should be supported just as much as females in football. Like completely, like there there's not as many of us, but especially in musical theatre, that's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing, and. I think there are just as many principal male roles that require dancing as do females. And I think whether you want to just be an ensemble part as a male or, you know, take a centre stage, either way, being able to say that you've taken that awesome, crazy, emotional ride as a male dancer is something that you will never, ever regret once you've come out the other side. And a uh, I think I think that's what I was getting at. Any, if you want to talk to me about um, anything to do with male dancers, if you are if you have worries about how you know people are making you feel, then obviously you need to talk to someone. And I'm I'm always here for a good old <coughs> chinwag. So thank you ever so much for watching. My name is James Bamford, and I will see you all very soon.